Hi guys and welcome back to a new video on the channel and I'm back again with some new tactics. Uh, this time it's maybe a formation which you might miss this year. It's a 4-3-2-1 but we start obviously in a 4-3-3-2. I made a formation kind of with the idea of last year because you want one sitting midfielder, two more advanced midfielders, inside forwards as they were last year and also a striker up top. So I've worked a bit with the tactics and this is what I got. So first we set the build-up style on balance. Yeah, balanced formation basically. So you don't go too fast, you don't go too slow. What we then do is put the defensive line on high, 70. This way your team will push up and play attacking football. Then uh, I got sweeper, keeper, plus, plus on Courtois. So um, decided to use it. Don't think it really matters for the formation. You'll just go whatever you want. Then I put Mandy, the left side one, on fullback and defend and Llorente on wing back and balanced he will be more advanced helping more out in the offense both center backs I always got on defender I don't really rate the other ones then we go with Guijaro as a CDM um, in holding because also she got plus but also what you want really a holding and defend so she stays back she's like the middle centimeter of last year um, the only thing the difference is I've gone with both the left and the right uh, center mids attacking so playmaker plus and attack. Um, yeah, I just want that to be a bit more advanced than the CDM. So uh, gone with that. And obviously they ac occupy more in the middle and uh, are a bit more close to the strikers and forward. Then, as I said, the left and right wing will be on inside forward and balanced. And then the uh, striker up top will advance forward and attack. Talk about defensive stability. We've made a pro POV defending video. So you might want to check that one out after you've finished this video. I always had tested these tactics in game and I've got you some gameplay examples. Let's start off with the attacking one. So now we've got the one with Salah, we played inside and this is where the inside forward of Vini uh, starts to play a role. You see that he was first on the outside of his fullback and then whenever Son got the ball he made a run between the center back and the right back uh, in which he finds some space and we could immediately take a touch and shoot. This is really what you want from your winger because that's obviously where the goals are getting scored and where you're gonna get the most dangerous. Next up, uh, again a build up, uh, Llorente obviously helping us out in the attack, uh, this time was a bit lucky, a bit awkward position, now we play to Salah who's obviously com coming inside, play the ball through with scores as a midfielder and then uh, going around to keeper, we're gonna do it the most difficult way. Again you can see Salah between the left back and the center back making that run, being dangerous, cutting it back and then the uh, scores in the end, finishing it with the playmaker attack role, he's obviously uh, a bit more advanced and in the position to take that shot and give us a goal. Next up, we take the ball with Mandy aggressively there. Uh, Vini is there as a left winger in defense, obviously, so he starts out wide, which we make use of now because we give that ball with scores to him. Then we cut it inside because Salah is already uh, to the inside. We play a rocket to him after making a brilliant move with Son and we finish it. So. Defensively, it's always going to be a bit more uh, wide. You obviously defend in a 4 3 3. So, just as we recover the ball, uh, Vini is still on the wing. We make use of that with the, um, the run triggered. And then uh, it's very good that Salah has come inside to help Son out and we find a goal. Next up, again, um, in transition. So, Salah is still a bit wide. Uh, we find Odegaard. Then uh, Salah keeps making a run, which we find him again. And then he's just looking for the pass inside to some, make a dribble, wait for it to keep to move out and load driven it past him. So uh, what you want to do often is in a transition immediately make use of the wings and then after uh, a few seconds of transition your wingers will start coming inside and uh, be more dangerous there. He's got the ball with Vini and this is important because we're in a 2v1, you just stay there. Don't be too aggressive, wait for him to do maybe a skill move which takes a long time and then be aggressive at him. As we did with Rudiger, we saw the drag back coming and then tackled him from behind. Here again, he's got the ball with Valverde, he plays it to Lamin Yamal. Then we make a mistake defensively but we run back with uh, Patri, still no problem. And this is where the high line comes into play. We go with high because then we can catch our opponent offside like Hansi Flick did with Mbappe in the Clasico. We want to do the same. So. This time, the high line, uh, we get rewarded for it, and um, our opponent is offside. You even make a few mistakes, but it doesn't matter, because uh, sometimes the CPU will just bail you out. And then the last clip, he's got the ball at the back, 
uh, obviously this is going to be a bit more longer so um, we again are a bit too aggressive with our defenders but we have time to run back uh, this time we go off for the cross first and then we're being aggressive again on the wing with Mendy and take the ball off him. So what's important here is that you first, when you made a mistake, you can still recover it. Um, in this case, we got to first cover the cross, in which we did, and then you can start being aggressive again. So guys, this was a video, so 4 3 with a CDM, number two tactics for you covered. Uh, let me know what you think of them when you tried them. The code will be in the comments or description, I don't know where exactly. And uh, for now, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, subscribe on the channel, and I'll see you for the next time. Bye. -bye.